Hello and welcome back to Bard's Tale 4. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't like this. Oh, but that's the head that we need. Wait. Wait. Can I crouch? Never mind. I'm so glad for all those road cuts. Ready when you are. He's there. Let's go. Why? I, I really hate uh, that they are. always standing like this. They are never... Let's keep this one. No, to be honest, I could have just done that. And it wouldn't work. Never mind. This one is dead. Deflect. Hmm, he is to die the way. Can you do anything else? No. Can you do anything? Oh, okay, I can do this. Oh, that hurts. Now you're done. Ready, I suppose. Tell me what you need. I need him to get closer. What do you mean no targets in... Oh. I see. Um... Burn. Flames. Yes, flames. Really? Can you run? <laughs> uh, yeah, move you here, move you here. Just we have no way. To stopping that, unfortunately. Tell me. Please heal me. Ready, I suppose. No. That wasn't so bad. Leather tunic. Why do we get such good loot all of a sudden? <laughs> you cannot fight here. Neither can you. 
this will give you more strength. Wait, we don't have shoes? Conjurer. Yes. Who are you? Oh, you're a practitioner. Both of you. You leveled up again, but you keep dying. Huh. Ooh, I like this. You are not using sword, that's why you cannot use it. I think. Oh, yeah, right now he's using axes. Yes, I think. Let's give you. Critical chains in swords. The sun, the noon sky, the robins. I knew this one last week, but he changes it all the time. My dearest apprentice, I know quite well how fond you are of your ink drawings and color theory. Let's put your skills to the test, shall we? You almost there, Mage Argwin. Peace. Knowledge is your strongest asset. When confronted with something you don't know, do not be afraid to ask questions or look into books for answers. I don't know what those are. Anyway. Dressing for the occasion. Now that we have discussed the correct number of gifts to bring your host and how to eat without making an abject fool of yourself, we shall now discuss proper dress. Each social occasion demands a different style, color, or manner of dress depending on the mood of the gathering. The reason for the gathering, or just how well you know the people, you will want to dress in a different manner. Below are some examples of how you should dress based on occasion. Funeral. Entirely avoid bright colors. When people are mourning the death of the of a loved one, it is customary to wear black. Child's birthday. Brighter colors are generally a good choice here. Fire festival. A distinct lack of clothes is the most appropriate attire for this occasion. Real gathering. Your finest clothes should be worn. If you have the means to own purple, do not wear this. Purple is reserved entirely for the royal family. Hmm. The farmer in mourning, the berserker's rage, the garments of royalty. Wait. Hmm. So, black, red, purple. Your first bird watching adventure. Now that you have the proper equipment, we are appropriately camouflaged. You are ready to venture off into the wilds and look for those beautiful airborne creatures we call birds. Here are a few of the species you might encounter on your first sojourn into the magical world of bird watching. The robin, a small, slight bird, it is easily distinguished by its short beak, grey body and vibrantly red chest feathers. The Great Spotted Woodpecker. Everyone knows the rattling sounds of a woodpecker. Search for the source of the sound and you will find a black and white bird with accents of red. The Rook. Often... Sorry. Often considered a sign of ill omen. The Rook is a black bird with a grey beak. It is a robust and hardy looking specimen. The Snowy Bunting. A small bird primarily found in the snows of the cotton lands. It is easily distinguished by its white feathers on most of the body with tan spots on the head 
and grey feathers on the back. These are just a few fine avian friends you will find on your bird watching adventure. We will get into more birds and their descriptions later on. Elevator. Okay, that's the elevator. No, 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 I don't want to do that one. The most berserker. Anger and violence red blood not silent, blood and bra bold and brave lives in a cave. Heroin scary doesn't drink dairy, tats and stew is coming for you. The D. Read a book and expand your vocabulary. But why? It's a perfectly fine poem. Really? Okay, yellow, blue, red. Like, literally, I should have each one. Can we sort the inventory, please? Those are colorful. Will that be okay? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. Yellow. Blue. Red. Thank you. Hmm. Now we need not here. Black, red, purple. And I thought there was another one. Okay, black, red, purple. Crafting? No, um... Inspect? No. Um... Oh. A recipe, so I assume it would be in crafting. Purple, okay. And black. That should be all. Inventory, really black, red, purple. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Elven weapon shard. Elven bow. Elven great sword. God fucking. Elven scepter. Elven pool. Or oh, god damn it! I hate it. Elven dagger. Elven stuff. Elven axe. Elven wand. Elven maze. Elven sword. Hey. We need four. Okay, we need four shots. Great. Ah, now we are on the other side. Good to know. Why is it getting brighter? So weird. Her twenty percent chance is just beautiful. I need you to pull him over here. And I need you to heal me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, he cannot really deal any. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, there was a chance <laughs> that she would get that. Tell me what you need. Fine. Here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give that yourself. Try to stay alive, okay? Um, Tell me. Kill them. Ready. Now what? 
I mean, he doesn't need any more. Oh. I just don't want him to regain any more spell points. I really don't want that to happen. I would love to change their places. Oh, whoa! I did not expect that. Hidden. Okay. Okay, that's great. He needs to heal. What did he do? Don't let him cast that, it's fine. <laughs> Who the foot? Um, ready, I suppose. Okay, he is that. And he'll kill me in spite. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Oh. What a shame. <laughs> Three. Okay. Oh, you leveled up. Great. Let's see, what can I give you? Uh, grant the conjurer. An enemy hit by a spell skin a conjurer's mark until the end of your turn. No spell attack will detonate this mark for free physical. Nearby enemies take half damage. Oh, that's great. That's great. Just being able to hit someone anywhere. I can hear someone fighting. Master, no! Why continue to fight for these ungrateful fools? They would burn you as a sorcerer. Join us. I'd sooner join a pack of wolves. Kill this old fool, Langa. Then seek Siamar of Coil and bring me his head. My pleasure, Odonis. It seems you will not live long enough to burn at the stake, old man. Drugs! Friends! Help me! I could end this if I get ready a final enchantment. Hold his attention, I beg you. Okay. The enchantment requires time and concentration. Be, 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 how much time? Your spell must what? touch me. Cat handed bumbler. Ancestors, give me strength. <laughs> Your attacks can't touch me. I think they did. Yeah. Tell me. Mm, wait, how does that work? 
Cause fixated on target and you pull them towards you. Okay, fixated on him. Man, that's them. You should run, truly. You couldn't hit a barn from the inside. No, you don't. Resistant to physics. Uh, this character can be affected by the same crack ability more than once. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Meditate. Mental works just fine. She wasn't healed. Okay, she was healed. Wait, why did <laughs> really? Here. What do you want me to do? Anything. This one five. I don't like it, I but I can't destroy them either way. Two more turns. I love that he's chanting. His chanting uh, stops the whole turn from happening. You meditate. I forgot to. <laughs> He's fine. We'll heal him. Yeah, the most important thing for me is. Keeping him alive, that's first. Here. 
here. He threw a mini nuke on him. I'm amazed. Who is Yadis? I know not, but clearly a being of great power and greater ambition. For the sake of the world, that ambition must not be realized. I fear it would doom us all. Where can we find Manga's reliquary? I wish I knew, but I do not. It might be buried anywhere. Perhaps Rabbi might know, but you must not approach Mangar until you have it. You will not kill him without it. You mention an apprentice. Ah, a good child, who saved me from myself when I was lost. I grieve that I could not return the favor. Who? What is the charm? The charm were the first men. Powerful, evil magicians. Before the all war, they and their gods were the absolute rulers of this realm. They were finally defeated by the elves and dwarves, but it was a near thing. A very near thing indeed. Are you wounded? Do you need help? that I cannot stay here. Perhaps I will go to the guild and give what aid I can to Rabbi. We shall see you at the guild. Uh, master, now that you've lost your magic, perhaps it's time to release me from our bargain. I mean, if you won't be casting spells, you don't need a familiar. Bargain? Promise to serve me until my death, imp. A pact sealed with blood. And I do not release you from it. Now you shall serve me by helping these adventurers against Mangar and Yadis. But I won't be any help at all. You made me swear never to use magic. There's nothing I can... Wait, and what were you doing during the fight? I release you from that, Mal. If these heroes want you, serve them as if they were me. If they do not, serve at the Adventurer's Guild. But I have a world to conquer! Shouldn't this wait? Obey me, demon! Offer them your service! Uh, if I must. If you find yourself in need of arcane knowledge, ask me. I still have my books. I will, but for now I'm in this part here so thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye